Hey fam, it's your girl, Miss Diva Trekker. I am here in Logan, Logan, Utah. I delivered my load last night in Ogden, and then I drove, like, hey Randy, I drove uh, um, about 44 miles up here to Logan, Utah. So, I am getting loaded. And I only got two hours on the clock, so I can't go anywhere until after midnight. But I'm getting loaded right now. And then I'll be headed back to Missouri. But everything went good. Um, the, Especially the... Um, everything went good, especially the um, drop-off. All I had to do. And what was so good about it was even though we don't have a trailer out here, I was able to drop the trailer let them unload it and then I came back the next day um, about one o'clock to go pick up the trailer and the trailer was empty and ready to go hey um, got a chance to stay at the uh, town place hotel last night that was around here so me and Ripley stayed there I cooked me a nice steak and onion last night and uh, we got a good night's sleep. The lady at the hotel let me check out at 1 o'clock today. So I checked out, took me a nice hot shower, and then went and got my trailer and then came up here. It could not have went any more perfectly. The weather was not that bad. I mean, you got a little uh, flakes or whatever in Wyoming, but it still wasn't, it wasn't that bad. So... Hopefully what I'm trying to do y'all is I'm trying to uh, I know it's not that cold Jason. It's a 55 degrees out here. So what I'm trying to do now is um, I Want to get back through Wyoming um, Before I get too bad, that's what I need to do. I got to get back through Wyoming before it gets too bad um, They say it is snowing a little bit I can't take 70. Y'all know 70. You're not supposed to come 70 if you ain't got no chains. Because ain't that the Rocky Mountains out there? So I'm going to come back across 80, right? And then I'm going to drop down. I think I'm going to catch 25 south. And I'm going to drop down to um, 70. And then go over to Cartridge, Missouri from there. Hopefully I get to uh, see Desiree. De Desiree is out here too. She is heading back. She's going to um she's going to Denver. So maybe we can meet up in Denver. She got this place, this restaurant that she gonna take me to. So if y'all don't know Desiree, Desiree is the um president of the Real Women in Trucking. And um she is out this way, headed back to uh Denver. So she already left and I'm not too far behind her. So the plan is to stop in Denver and hopefully I'll get a chance to see that Desiree and we can go out and eat and stuff like that and then head on to Missouri so I got a low out here they got me a low back y'all LTI was calling me this morning they was like Tamara did you get the uh, load unloaded did you said you gonna get the trailer you know you got another load they was worried to death honey. I said listen Liz, I got this. Okay, let me take care of this out here. I got, I got the west side. Okay, y'all, y'all, calm down. We all right. We got the load and everything. So you know, I'm not sitting out here. You know, the other load is delivered. The paperwork is is uh, it don't eat the brownies. Wow, what's in the brownies? But uh, the paperwork delivered. I'm over here picking up the next load. So. We got what we have. We have 2,042 miles plus 1,230 miles. That's what? Um, 3,300 and something miles. So hopefully I can get it there by midnight Friday and that would be my week. Um, but I'm running off of recaps. I don't have any more hours. But I'm going to show y'all the mountains up here. Hold on. Let me show it to you. Ripley. Uh don't don't pee on that man tire come here you see all this grass out here get over here get over here you see all that grass out there okay go over there don't be going to over there by that man tire but uh 
Look at that, y'all. Right here in the mountains. Look at all that. And I drove straight through it, too. Coming to Logan. Coming to Logan. This is so pretty. I don't know if I would like to live out here. But just to come out here and see all this, you will never get tired of looking at this, you know? Um, is LTI moving freight? Yeah, we moving freight. Um, uh, we got this one from CR England. Thank you, CR England. Good looking out. We got this one from CR and, and the people at CR England, they were so nice. They was like, uh, I called her and I told her, I said, hey, my name is Tamara. I'm with LTI. I'm the driver that is going to pick up the load in Logan, Utah and bring it to Missouri. And she was like, hey, Tamara, she sent me this. It's called Trucker's Tool, y'all. And the Trucker's Tool, it gives you all the load information, where to pick it up, where you deliver it. You can put the uh, BOL on there, the seal on there, and then how you get paid, you just scan your documents to the truckers tool, and then everybody gets everything. I mean, it's the easiest. They don't have to call me because they know where the load is at all times. So once I download the app, I got to do a video on truckers tool because that thing is amazing. You don't have to worry about getting called from uh, brokers and all that kind of stuff, but they gave me all the pickup information. All of it was right there in the trucker's tool. Um, um, it gives you all kinds of stuff. That's my first time ever using it. And then if you're an owner operator or a small fleet or whatever, trucker's tool will find you another load that you can go and pick up once you deliver in that area. So, you know, we've been really fortunate. Come here, Ripley. We've been really fortunate. I said, come here. Um, we've been really f fortunate um, as far as just getting in and out. The only thing that I'm worried about, y'all, right now is just um, um, the weather. That's the only thing. But uh, other than that, I can't go anywhere really until after uh, midnight tonight because that's when I get my hours back. And then I'm going to just try to ride out and get through Wyoming, try to do half of it tomorrow, try to maybe make it down there to Denver or around there by Denver, and then uh, finish up the other half by Friday. So hopefully if I get up early in the morning, I should be okay. But the weather's been really good. Uh, let's see. I took some... Um, is LTI moving freight west now or is this a one? Um, we're trying it out. So, you know, we want to be able to have teams and, you know, now we got training that we have students on the truck. You want to be able to go more than just 55 and 70, you know. So, uh, if it works out good that we can get a load out here and a load back, then and we don't have no problem. Hey, hey, hey. Don't make me use my thing, Ripley. Don't don't make me use it, but I'm sure this is something. The only thing is you got to be careful. You see how he do? You're going to make me use it. Come here. You see, I ain't got time to be yelling. And who got tired of be out here yelling at Ripley? Not me. I just point this little thing out here. You see how he looked, turned around, and came back? This is the best little invention they could have ever made, huh? Stop, stop misbehaving. I didn't tell you to sit down. You don't have to sit down. Look, he just sitting down. He, he don't like this thing. He just sitting down. Be still. You can walk around. I don't care about you walking around, but don't get too far, okay? I don't care about you. Oh, he. Oh, happy Halloween, y'all. I forgot the. It was this lady at Popeye's. She had on this uh, makeup. Oh, the thing I like. They got a little Popeye's chicken right up around the corner from the delivery place. Y'all. Um, I went in there and that lady had on some uh, 
had on uh, some makeup and all. She scared that I don't know what. Her face was just, I was like, I had forgot it was Halloween. And I walked in there and I looked and I said, what in the world? And then I remember, oh, okay, it's Halloween. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was, it threw me off there for a minute. But um, other than that, that's it. That's all I got, y'all. Just playing on the weekend and getting back. I did a little driving video. Um, I couldn't put my um, eastbound down trucking video on Facebook because every time I put it on Facebook, they muted the music. And that defeated the purpose. So I put it on YouTube. If y'all haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, what else? Uh, no, it's not cold. It's not that cold. It's 57 degrees. It's not like, as long as it ain't snowing, y'all, I could deal with anything as long as it ain't snowing. But if you need a coat, go get you one at Burlington. You can pick these up for like $19, $20 at Burlington. Nice little coat. Keep you warm and stuff. Ripley. He just over there walking. You call Ripley? I got him a, 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 a coat. I got him a little coat back there, but he been so good, huh? That baby been so good. Sit, sit. Good boy, good boy. Now let's see, down, 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 down. down oh you waiting on me to do this that's what you waiting on me to do hold on Rip. hold on i got you down i guess rip would say you know sitting that oh where you going you don't have to go nowhere you good go ahead rip you can you can walk around go ahead you don't have to stay there you cold huh you cold come on let go you like being outside, don't you, huh? But I can't breathe. I just want to try to look like you want to look like you know more about trucking tools. I like that truck. That was my first time using that. That trucking tool tell you where all the way stations. It tell you all kinds of stuff. They sent me the load right to the phone. You don't have, I wish we used that. But they sent the load right to the phone. Then they got a, a route if you, you want to use it. They got the way stations, the scales. You could put your BOL, your uh, temperature, your seal number. You could scan the bills to get paid. That thing is so easy. And then you don't have to worry about nobody calling you because they know where you at. But yeah, I'm over there. Let me show y'all where I'm at. I'm over there in the dough, just sitting all in the dough waiting. He told me, he said, if, um, if you had got here 30 minutes early, well, my appointment ain't till, uh, uh, my appointment ain't till six o'clock tonight. And I got here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. My appointment is not until, uh, six o'clock tonight. Come here. Come here, let me pick you up. Uh oh, come here. <laughs> How you doing? Good, you? All right. You not cold? Y'all wear shorts up here in Utah, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, um, what I was saying. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying. But Ripley. over there in the dough y'all I didn't want Ripley to uh, get by that get by that man cuz you know everybody coming back everybody don't like dogs you know and, hey, I, this way come here let me get you come here want nobody to hit my baby but that's the only thing. Um, got out here okay. I'm already in the door. The man told me if I would have got here 30 minutes ago, he said they would have went ahead and loaded me. 
but I gotta wait till second shift come in and then they'll load me but okay ain't no ain't no trucks or nothing coming but I'm over here in the dark hey, 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 hey. you walk by me you walk by me yeah but other than that y'all I will talk to y'all later peace love joy happiness I guess I'll go lay down for a little bit until they get me loaded and hopefully after midnight I'll get all my hours back and then I'll be ready to go but see you back on the east coast Bye.